Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are in the hospital and we're here with our new friend, uh, the janitor or cleaner, and Mr. Shiny. Now, I've noticed at the end of the last episode that this wire seems to go all the way around here and connect to what I guess is a plug socket here. So... We tried to go into the janitor's closet, where I'm guessing all his supplies are. He won't let us do it. So the only thing I'm thinking straight away is that we maybe need to unplug this to see if it works as a distraction. We're actually here to find a guy called Mark A, by the way, but I've got distracted. As I the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. So is he going to go and potentially go and try to figure out why it's Mr. not working? Shiny. What's wrong, pal? It's broken. Yes, he is. Right. So can we either do something with Mr. Shiny while he's gone or go into that cupboard? Ah, oh, so we don't seem to actually be able to do any... Oh, no, wait, hang on. It was a classic example of... I yeah. almost expected to see... Yeah, you know, can we go in the cupboard while he's, like, not here? Oh, yeah, we can! Nice! That looks like a doctor's coat. Are we a doctor now? We're a doctor, unofficially. Right, so I had no idea why we had to go in there, but I just had a feeling that was a puzzle. It just seemed quite obvious to me. So, uh, hello, we're a doctor now. Um, where do we go next? This way? Maybe we'll go back and talk to him about Mr. Shiny. Maybe we actually needed to Good have afternoon, that. Doctor. Oh, yeah, we oh, may hi. maybe Is we did. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patients are ready for your inspection, doctor. Uh, thank you, nurse. You'll need this, doctor. What, what do we need? What is it? She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? Yeah. His name is Eric Sopmarsh. No, we're, we're not here for Eric. We're here for a guy called Marquet. What is that? What the hell is that thing? Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. <laughs> Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. Ah, oh, that's that's <laughs> that's kind of dark. I was expecting something funny. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident, a silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. Oh. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. <laughs> Let's ask about Marquet. Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, Monsieur. He's in the private room at the end of the ward. Okay. He's been placed in strict isolation. Why in strict isolation? Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Huh. All right. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Okay, well, what is this thing? What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, Doctor. Oh no. <laughs> I've heard something about the blood pressure. Like when I've been posting on social media about this, um, the Signal Fire Project, also known as uh, the Fire Knight, I believe, um, has kept commenting saying like, you haven't finished taking my blood pressure. And I have no idea what that's about, but I'm guessing it's gonna be something to do with this then. <laughs> oh dear, all right, okay. Do you want this uh... device for measuring blood pressure? Yeah, do you want it back? No, thank you. Why is she not questioning why a doctor doesn't know what to do with this as well? That's thank quite you, funny. Au revoir, monsieur. Right, so are we going to have to take someone's blood pressure then? I'm guessing we are. And maybe this is another infamous puzzle. By the way, I did find out that goat was a puzzle in the original game, but apparently, I don't know whether it glitched in this sort of playthrough, but apparently the goat would just keep attacking you if you tried to go near the trapdoor, and that they obviously made it so you could interact a bit better with items and things from what I've been told. But yeah, the goat gave us no trouble, which is why I was slightly confused, but I looked it up after some of you guys recommended it, um, and yeah, the original version, it, it looks like a real pain to get past the goat, so we, we kind of lucked out there, honestly. Uh, right, so, do we, so we've got to speak to this guy, who is not Marque, but apparently we need to do something. Hello, anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? Yeah. You better believe it. Alright, let's ask about 
people and stuff. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? Mm -hmm. That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common <laughs> squatter. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor. What's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. Three months? Jeez, that's a long time to be in hospital. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have no complaints. Uh, all right. The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? True. You've got to have discipline in a place like this. So that was Nurse Grendel. She seemed really nice, honestly. She didn't seem horrible at all. Uh, do we want to risk this after the the constant comments about not you haven't finished taking my blood pressure? Let's just see what happens. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Apparently, we've got to do it. It seems fine to me. Yeah. You're not doing it right. I am. I am doing it right. Do you want to shake my hand? Hmm. Maybe not. But yeah, maybe, maybe a hospital patient isn't the right I'm person to do that on. <laughs> we don't want to give him some sort of injury. Stop. Why, why does he keep putting his hand up like that? Right, let's try and go into this private... Doctor. Oh, no. What do you want? What is it? You haven't taken my blood. Oh, no. This is, this is going to be what it is, isn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is going to be the thing. Did we do it right? Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Oh, no. I... No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. All right, okay. Is is this what the comment was about? Is this guy just gonna keep stopping us or no, doc. Oh no. What now? You didn't finish taking my blood pressure. Oh, this guy's gonna keep blocking us, isn't he? <laughs> oh no, I know what it is okay, now. Let's try again. Yeah, it's all good. You are fine. You, you you're top bill of health. You don't have the first idea what you're doing. Yes, do you? yes, I do. I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. All right, so hang on. Let Let's try talking to the nurse. Maybe we can get a demonstration of how to use this thing. What do you mean, nurse? Are we, Monsieur? Uh, this thing. Oh. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, Monsieur. But apparently, that didn't do anything. If we walk past, is he going to do it again? You haven't finished taking oh, my yes. No. Oh god, how are we gonna sort this situation out? Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? He's paying. It's because he's got money, isn't it? Sort of. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. I mean, are we going to have to just keep trying? Because he seems to be delivering different dialogue lines every time we do it. You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Yeah, maybe we're going to have to do something to stop this guy. <laughs> Can we, like... You keep quiet? I'll keep quiet when you... Right, okay. To... Oh, God. It's... I'll... Let's skip that. So it seems as though we're going to need to do something else here. Um... Hmm. Can we maybe speak to the other doctor or something? Oh, there's an another. Why does that guy look exactly like us? That's kind of weird. And I can't. Hello. C can I actually talk to you? Cause you. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Yes, sir. Please to meet yourself. Call me George if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, that's my name. My name's Benoit. But everyone calls me Bunny. Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. Uh, keep it to yourself, Benoit. 
Okay, let's ask him some questions. Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? And uh, no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. <laughs> uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with a nurse. Shut up, Benoit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd stop. Do you know how to use this thing? Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Uh, okay, so we gave it to him. Do you want to shake hands? Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. Oh, oh come, come on. Dermatitis. Well, I don't have dermatitis. I do. <laughs> yeah, but you're a doctor. Um, right, so we gave... See you later. Right. So we gave him the... Okay, can we talk to this other doctor? We spoke to him Excuse already, me, but... sir. Aha! Just the man. Yeah? You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bernie, uh, come here, boy. Does he not remember he talked to us already? <laughs> this is Benoit, my nephew. Ah. Can I trust you to look after him? Yeah, of course. He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real sorcery. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've got a show. Do we have any more notes, by the way? No, we don't. Okay, so. We we've got to show him around. Maybe we can get him to do the hey, blood Benoit. pressure? Yes, sir? Like as a test or something? Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, oh, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Keep it safe until I think of something. Okay. Follow so, me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can get him to follow us and to do the thing himself. Yeah, he's following us. Okay, right. Benoit, um... Would you be able to... Yeah, good, he's here. Would you be able to demonstrate... This is what I'm guessing we'll do. me again. Uh, I'll right. come back later. Would Benoit... Hey, Benoit. Yes, sir? Can you demonstrate how to take this guy's blood pressure? Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, oh, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Use it on Eric's... Ah, oh, yeah, we can! Okay. Nice, we can! Right, we'll get someone else to do it. Clever. Nice puzzle. I like it. Now stop moaning about your blood pressure, please. Are you doing it? <laughs> oh, okay, we're in control again, I see. So I was waiting for him to, to finish doing it, but obviously we don't need to do that. So can we go into this room now with Mark A? Oh, I think we can. Ooh, there's like a police officer on the door. That's not the one we know, is it? Let's try talking to him first. We don't just want to barge in. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, doctor. No, it looks like a different police officer. Have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, I have. A gorilla and a weasel? <laughs> no, this was a tatty old bear. How is the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a Homburg. Is that against the law? No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. <laughs> All right, let's ask about Marquet. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. Why? He has anthrax. Oh, well, that's that's not great. I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. Yeah, yeah. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed as vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. <laughs> the white coat suits you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, can we, Catch can we go later, in? Catch you later, officer. Au revoir, doc. See you later. Uh, can we go in? We can go in. Oh, he is not in a good way, is he? Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well... <laughs> What are you waiting for? Get 
It over with. I just uh. want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, right here in my pocket. I thought you were one of the assassin. <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So, you will send in my place? Uh, yeah. You, you could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster quickly. Tell him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. Well, you have it? Not yet, but it's been taken care of. Right. I, I have a couple of stooges with a flair for Betty Crime. Oh, Would no. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You... No, that Could say that. For Klaus there. Uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? <laughs> he, he, uh, has a theory about the location of the. Uh, 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 is he dead? That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. Okay. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeyer was to hear that. Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Interesting. Oh, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. Oh, yeah. I finished with your pressure gauge. Nice. Thanks, Bunny. Oh, we... What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having <gasps> a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with no, him. No, that's not Are a doctor, sure is it? He was a doctor. Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. Oh, come on. There's no Dr. Braille working here. He's an imposter. Quick, get back in there. The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. It was an assassin, was it? I'm guessing that's what he was trying to say, assassin. Oh, we're too late, are we? Looks like he's gone out the window. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks Hello, like we were George. too late. Well, we've got an update. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Uh. Was it Khan? No, I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Uh, let's talk about this. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me, that guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about Khan. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. True. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Hmm. Okay, well... I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or Sergeant Mu? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. So we're going to have to go back and talk to somebody. The question is, where the hell are we going now? Uh, people don't mess around. Okay. So, Klausner. So I'm guessing we're going to have to go to the museum next then. Uh, but let's head just to the cafe for the time being because uh, we'll call the episode there because we're out of time but yeah it's really st starting to heat up now isn't it so the grand master that he was talking about is a templars thing right so it sounds like that guy was a templar and he knows where the tripod is we also know it's in the museum so i think we'll probably try there next but that's going to do it for this one so as always guys thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate terminally nerdy paul from the phantom fellows and lyle for all the support uh, if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and i'll see you all next time